I felt kind of ashamed that I didn't have the things that other children have, so they kind of made me shut down into a shell. But eventually, when I start going to church, because I was raised in church, start going to church and start getting involved in things as far as like, well, God, I knew Jesus loved me. So when I knew Jesus loved me, I could start loving myself. Um, yeah, I, I was bullied in school, um, but I had a different approach with it. I've always seen the nicer side of people. You know, I see the nicer person that's within them. Instead of looking at the mean bully, I'm looking at the way got you so mad. Well, I was actually bullied in school. <laughs> um, my first year in high school, so I was a freshman. And the way I actually overcame that was by dancing. Because everybody else in school, they wasn't dancing. So I was actually telling a story through my dancing. So I would actually dance. I start living myself. Okay, I don't have to have the things of the real. I don't have to have the shoes. I don't have to have the, um, the nice clothes. I'm still a person. I'm still somebody. Especially coming from the background, most of these youth these days come from as in broken homes, no fathers in the homes, um, single parents in homes, drug addiction problems, dealing with that. So, so how we deal with that is we find positive areas to get into. Yeah, you know, like my mom, she was here with a lot and other people watched that because I was in foster care with my sister and And um, a lot of my, some of my foster parents occurred and that was like, oh, she's fine.
practice one more. And uh, I couldn't get it done at first, but I kept on practicing it. And I got it. And my first dance move was last year around September. I got out of school. So I just started dancing. Well, I was a, kind of a nerd in school, but when I got out, I started working out. Yeah. 